Hey everybody, this is Doug Keeling and today I wanted to just do a quick tutorial on how to lighten up some dark photos. So this obviously isn't a terribly dark photo, um, but it is going to need some adjusting because you can see all the shadows on the faces. Um, when you go to print this out, typically I've found that when you print out the photos, they, they print out just a little bit darker um, than what you're seeing on screen anyway. So we need to lighten this thing up and I could use some adjustment layers, uh, and some other tools and, and a bunch of those, but one of the nice things in the newest versions of Photoshop is the Camera Raw filter. Now if you're familiar with shooting in Raw, um, that's a different file type. You actually need to adjust the settings on your camera so that you can shoot in Raw, and then you would open your file in Adobe's Camera Raw um, plugin or, or whatever you call it, and then you can make your adjustments from there. Um, but the nice thing is that in the most recent versions of Photoshop, we actually have a camera raw filter that can be applied to any image that we have. Now, it's not going to be like actually opening a raw file, but it does give you access to some of those things um, so that you can adjust them. So let's go ahead and add one to this photo. So under the filter menu and camera raw filter. And then I'm just going to make some adjustments to some of the settings in this initial basic panel with like the exposure, the contrast, and the highlights. Now the exposure, if you take it up too far on the positive side, you can really blow things out. And a lot of times I like to take things to the extreme just so I can see how the photo I'm working with reacts. And obviously that's just way too much, um, way up on the high end. But I do want to lighten things up, and then I want to lighten up the shadows. So I'm actually going to, you know, take this contrast down so that we get a little, uh, a little less in the dark areas. Now you're starting to think, hey, this is look re looking really washed out. Um, you know, let's let's do something about that. And as we go on, you can kind of add in some of the color and the things that we've lost by bringing the exposure up with some of these settings especially, you can see I've adjusted the blacks, but especially the clarity and the vibrance and saturation um, down here at the bottom. So we'll bump the clarity up a little bit, and these aren't numbers that you need to you know, obviously use on your photo because it all depends on how dark it is or, or whatever. But uh, that looks fairly decent at the clarity there. And yeah, maybe we'll bring it down yeah, right about there. And then our vibrance, we'll turn that up. And you can kind of see how these things play if you just move the sliders. The vibrance starts to bring in a little more of that color. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what things it's changing. Um, I don't know all the technical details and what kinds of algorithms that each of these sliders is applying. So, um, but as you can see then, if you, if you go down to the saturation, then definitely you start to add in a little more of that color that we lost uh, in the first initial exposure and contrast adjustments. And now I'm just going into the tone curve, the next panel over, and um, trying if, adjusting some of these things. Again, a lot of this is just kind of trial and error, and if I find that I don't like something, then I just kind of let it go. Um, but... Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Looks a little better where we've got it. And now we've moved into the hue and saturation. And this is one that I like to just play with a little bit. Again, a lot of this is just trial and error to see how things look. And um, sometimes you don't know exactly what what you're looking for until you see it. So I like to adjust some of the colors and make sure that everything is kind of spot on. But sometimes again you don't know exactly what you're looking for so I like to take these sliders kinda just go crazy with them sometimes just to see how they affect the photo and then uh, and then just take them back to zero if it's not doing anything and it's not giving me the desired effect just uh, forget that all that and take it back to zero and uh, move on and then you can just cycle through a lot of these other panels here um, you can add different, you know, vignette effects and do things like that. I'm not going to bother with that at this point. Um, and then some of the other things that are helpful in terms of just this camera raw filter, um, if you go down and start adjusting these buttons at the bottom, and you can see it gives you sort of a two-up effect with the before and after. And now as you're looking at this, and as you can compare these either side by side, or um, there's a few other options here, let's zoom out, you can see just how dark that original photo was. I didn't honestly, by this point, 
in the tutorial, I didn't even realize that it was as dark as it was, but now you can really see that, and, and now you can see how far we've come, and that, you know, when we print this out, at least you're going to be able to see most of the detail on everybody's faces, and uh, not have to um, deal with all those dark shadows that we had, you know, so there's the before and after. And one of the things that I forgot to mention was that you really need to do this on a duplicate layer of your image. So make sure you always have a safety copy and then apply the camera raw filter because once you apply those settings, they're locked in place and you can't go back and change those. All right, so obviously this isn't a professional photo and it's not a professional photo editing tutorial. Um, but, you know, for those times when you've taken a picture and you just, ha you know, you've got one picture that you can actually use, but it's just too dark. I mean, you know, you actually had everybody smiling for a change or something, but you just can't use it because it's just too dark. Hopefully this will help you out in those scenarios and uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.